Hi, I'm here today with uh, Vince Delano, uh, who heads up the big data group at uh, Accenture. Welcome, Vince. Thank you, Greg. How are you? Um, so recently, uh, Accenture did a survey of executives at both large and small businesses about how they use data. And you had some surprising results. Uh, in particular, uh, what surprised me was how little uh, data these companies actually use in most of their decision making. Can you tell us a little more about what you found in that survey? Well, I think a lot of, uh, so this survey, we ended up canvassing about 4,000 people. And the only ones that uh, we took as respondents were ones that um, had actually completed a project in the big data space. So that was a little over 1,000 people then that responded. And um, we found that, uh, we found that the use of data is very limited uh, because it's, a lot of it's locked up across the organization. It's very difficult to get at. And, um, but what we're seeing in the survey as well, when you look at other aspects of it, they're starting to free it up so that mm -hmm. they can combine it uh, to drive business decisioning. Well, do you find that the biggest uh, problem in this transformation is technological, or is it really more about the, the culture and the human factors? I think the only technological challenge uh, in some cases is understanding of the technologies. Um, but you're seeing, you're seeing uh, these companies, I mean, companies have very good engineers in them, and they're, uh, they can pick up Hadoop ecosystem tools uh, well. Um, but it takes some time, and they need to get some experience under their belt. Mm. Uh, so that's more of a time thing. Um, the harder part tends to be uh, willingness to want to use them at scale. It's doing something different. Uh, you'll have different organizational barriers that, uh, that come up. Um, and at the end of the day, those start to fall down as people start to experience benefits. And once those benefits um, are realized, then they can share stories, and then there's more of a willingness to, to do more. Now, one of the biggest changes I think that we've been observing is that business intelligence has become less about hypothesis-driven inquiry, and it's kind of more about exploratory uh, data analysis. Um, what's, what's driving that process, and, and what's standing in the way of the further uh, growth of that process? Well, the, in, in the BI world, you have a set of KPIs that you need to measure. Uh, that you want to view. You have dashboards that represent those things. Uh, if you're running a functional area within the enterprise, you want to see how that particular mm -hmm. function is, is uh, operating. It becomes very different, though, when you want to be able to combine information externally and in internally across multiple different functions, and, and what is that telling you? So it's not just about how a customer, for example, is interacting with me and, and the products I sell, but how do they interact with the other products that I have? Um, and being able to bring those things together, understand what the connections are, that's where you find the exploratory analytic um, uh, work going on. So it's kind of, we don't really know what we don't know. We've never combined the data in this way before. And so how do we leverage visualization tools um, and machine learning to understand what's going on in this data um, at scale? So mm -hmm. and when I talk about at scale, I'm talking about, you know, not trying to build a hypothesis over a couple of variables, but mm -hmm. tens of thousands potentially across, you know, scores of data sets, different mm -hmm. data sets, and that's a and that's a very uh, difficult problem. Now you have you have some sense of what constitutes an ideal team to tackle a big data project. Um, tell us a little bit about what you think that team ought to look like, and to what extent companies have to build out those teams themselves, and to what extent they can kind of rely on. Um, a company like Accenture to help flesh out that team? So when we're doing things like exploratory analytics or we're standing up these big data environments, we call them data discovery environments, it's a set of activities around you know, finding insights uh, in this data that you're bringing together. We find that um, it's very difficult to find one or two individuals that have the breadth of knowledge about all these different tools, the data, uh, the underlying architectures and systems and, and tools. Um, and so being able to assemble a team of people that have complementary skills that can work together uh, becomes really, really important. Um, and so having a data person, a technology person, an architecture person, uh, and a data scientist type person uh, becomes, uh, and a visualization person becomes very, very important uh, that these teams are working together. Um, and it's, those, are, those become the foundation for doing these, these, mm -hmm. uh, these discovery type efforts. 
once you start uh, understanding how you get value out of this data, clearly that just a team that size isn't, you know, that they're not going to be able to solve all the enterprises problems. So a lot of times what we see are people wanting to understand how do I, how do I build an operating model like that in my business mm -hmm. to, to um, expand the breadth of experience that I have around mm -hmm. um, things like machine learning, right? right. Uh, so going beyond just the predictive modeling types and bringing in the machine learning people uh, and, and these things become very complementary, right? And so how do you design and build those teams? We do, th that's what we do for clients as well. Um, and then it's building that small team like I just talked about, but being able to de deliver that at scale across the enterprise, right? Okay. And that's what companies are wanting to do and they're struggling with how to do that. You know, how do I operationalize mm -hmm. this type of insight discovery on a, on a regular recurring basis quickly? Vince, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Greg, thank you.